I recently played through Cyberpunk 2077 for the first time, and in its current state, I'm not afraid to admit that it's one of the best games I've ever played. But that's not the point of this video. I actually wanted to talk about a movie this game reminds me of. Obviously, there's a lot of popular ones, such as Blade Runner, Dread, and Ghost in the Shell, to name a few. But this one is a bit older, and I presume not as well known. The film that I'm talking about is Strange Days, a Catherine Bigelow flick from 1995. The connection is rather apparent if you're familiar with both, but I imagine more people are familiar with cyberpunk than this film. Especially because despite having big names attached, this movie bombed at the box office. A significant piece of tech in Cyberpunk 2077's story and universe are recordings known as brain dances. They're essentially tapes of someone's real, first-person experience doing something. They are recorded and played through a device that links into your neural network. This allows the viewer to feel the recorder's thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations. Think of it like a recorded memory. These BD recordings can be literally any experience, but in the game, most of what you deal with is used for illegal activities such as crime and sex stuff. When I first saw this in the game, I was like, this is an oddly familiar concept, and then I remembered Strange Days. I first watched this several years ago when I was still in school. I took a cinema course that looked at films that use technology to expand the boundaries of storytelling, and Strange Days was part of the syllabus. Without spoiling too much, the events of the film involve the recording and distribution of squid tapes. Superconducting quantum interference device, squid. They basically function identically to brain dances, only they're recorded onto something that looks like a mini disc. Whereas in Cyberpunk, everything goes onto shards that look like an elongated micro SD card. They also have to be recorded using a special device. In Cyberpunk, people are embedded with cyberware and can get a recording implant that links into their neural system. In both worlds, a device is required for playback. In Strange Days, everything about the tapes are illegal, which is fair considering the nature of what is usually being recorded. They're basically treated like drugs and other contraband. But in Cyberpunk, brain dances are common and even commercialized. There are illegal ones similar to squid tapes, which are labeled as XBDs. Minor spoiler here, but it is interesting to note that the first squid tape shown in the film and the first brain dance you view in the game are of somebody kicking the bucket, so to speak. Another difference is that in Cyberpunk, the raw recordings are called virtues, which have to be compiled by a brain dance editor. This is required because the brain dance tech actually records enough data to build a virtual environment around the recorder. The extra info provided by this allows the editor to fine tune emotions and sensations for a better viewing experience. With this, commercial brain dances are often recorded by paid actors, and you'll encounter several brain dance stars throughout the game. In Strange Days, there is no editing. The recording goes straight to tape. During the game, you'll meet Judy, a BD editor who will edit a virtue with you. These editing moments are an interesting concept, but a lot of players found these parts too tedious and boring, especially when used as a storytelling element. A brain dance would be neat as hell in real life, but these sections of the game basically serve as long, unskippable cutscenes. It's interesting on the first view, but tiresome on subsequent playthroughs. The game's world is based on Mike Pondsmith's Cyberpunk 2020 pen and paper RPG. I might be mistaken on this, but I believe brain dances are a thing that CDPR came up with for 2077. There is even an XBD dealer named Lenny Nero, the name of the main character of Strange Days. Somebody at CDPR is definitely a fan of this movie. That's about as far as the connection goes, and I don't want to spoil any more of the movie. If you find the brain dance stuff in Cyberpunk interesting, then this film might be up your alley. And just as a warning, although probably unnecessary at this point, be prepared to see some disturbing stuff. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching.